Columbia. Top kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. For anyone who is new to my channel, hi, my name is Ayanita and I am an LPC associate in the state of Texas. I commute one day out of the week to a private practice office and then the other days of my work week, I work from home and see clients via telehealth. I have one client today, today is Friday. So mentally I'm kind of checked out of work already, not going to lie, but I do want to get at least one or two notes done. And then I have my last client side session at four I believe and I have to have my supervision meeting and all that good stuff but I did end up ordering some office supplies that I'm really excited about it's been really fun to just gradually over time see how my office space has transformed and I do want to say it did not happen overnight this is something that has taken a lot of time. I literally got through grad school with just my laptop and a binder that eventually morphed into a folder situation. Very minimal. I didn't have anything fancy or flashy and I was able to make it through grad school with that. So it does feel really special now that I'm working from home to gradually build my office and I like talking about these things because I don't want anyone watching my videos to feel like these things just happen overnight if there's anyone out there feeling you know i don't have fancy stuff to get me through grad school i can't afford to buy all these things it's okay you do not have to go out and buy a bunch of things i literally would just get my work done on my couch or on my bed throughout my three plus years in grad school and i got it done but fast forwarding to now i am very excited for the little things that I've gotten to gradually buy in my office. And so I did end up ordering these bookends. They're clear and I specifically like these because it would just look like the books were held up on their own. So we're going to go ahead and organize some of my favorite books up here that I use on the daily for work or that I tend to use more often. I would like to have displayed on this bookshelf behind me and we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I thought it would be fun to also let you know some of my favorite books. And personally, I don't think I have as an extensive library. So that's something that I would eventually like to grow over time, but I will definitely show you some of my favorites. So this is gonna be a game changer. I ended up getting this standing clipboard. So that way, whenever I am doing work here on my desk or anywhere else that I choose to, I can just put it flat on the table and I can have my notes standing up versus having to be typing and then looking down, I can just have this next to my laptop and I won't 
have to be constantly looking down. It's it's the little things, you know what I mean? The little things that help make us a little bit more efficient. So let's go ahead and start organizing some books so that way I can get to writing some notes before my client sessions later today. Okay everyone, so welcome to one of my bookshelves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this over here. I love having a nice background for my clients to look at. So my husband ended up helping me build these and I have that whole process on my main YouTube channel. Yeah, I think it just adds to the whole vibe whenever I do end up meeting with clients and they get to see my nice background. So I have these clear, I think I'm gonna do it this way. That way it looks like the books are just kind of standing on their own. So first book that I wanted to show you all is Advanced Techniques for Counseling and Psychotherapy. And I'll definitely link all of these books that I mentioned down below. This book was the only assigned reading in my grad school program that I actually really loved. I ended up bringing it with me to my internship site just to read on my off time whenever I was there. And as you can see, I mean, I loved it a lot. I have highlighter marks all over it. And the reason why I love this one so much is because it does talk about techniques you can use in counseling and it gives you real life example that the author ended up practicing with clients, with adolescents. Honestly, I feel like it's such a gem and I wish we would have had more books like this throughout our grad school program. Love it so much. So, See, we're gonna put that here. Okay, and so a book that I ended up purchasing on my own is this CBT workbook for kids. And I love it because it has different exercises and activities. And sometimes I just like making copies of this to send to my clients through the portal or we'll work on it together. Here's one that talks about alternative behaviors, brave activity plan when it comes to avoidant behaviors, facing the things at school that scare you. So yeah, definitely really love this. And then we have my DBT book. So volume one, as you can see, I did a number on this. <laughs> During my internship site, I really dedicated myself to, to reading this through. And then later I ended up buying volume two, but I feel like volume one was more helpful in my opinion. So let me go ahead and just put that there for now and show you. So, so it has mindfulness skills, therapy, interfering behavior. And this smaller book does a really good job of explaining DBT as well and how you can adjust it to fit with your clients. And it has case examples in the back. So for example, if your client has adjustment disorder, skills would work well with that. I really do love this book so much. I feel like it's a really good introduction to DBT. So, and then we have my favorite book of all time. This one was my most expensive book buy but i ended up getting it when it was on sale so i got it like 20 dollars less than it usually is now i truly feel like this book right here coping skills for a stressful world is a gem like a hidden gem it has so much relevant information to what our communities and our society is going through right now and let me go ahead and open the contents for use in the contents area it talks about cultivating client resilience anxiety and stress depression and loneliness anger self-esteem grief and loss and then it has individual response to trauma disaster and adversity trauma recovery and post-traumatic growth coping with chronic illness and health issues, political differences, value conflicts and tribalism, social injustice against marginalized groups, forces of social media and technology, compassion fatigue, vicarious traumatization and burnout, preparing clients for life after counseling, and additional exercises for common mental health issues. I can honestly go on and on about why I love this so much, but this book was so helpful to me, especially during 2020, but with the pandemic coming in and everything that was going on politically, there were even instructors that I realized like I could not trust and I just did not feel safe around, to be honest. It even talks about the impact during the Trump era on different communities and 
that's why I loved this book so much because it made me feel seen and validated and yeah I feel like the only thing that's missing from this book is to have more representation to have any representation to be honest it's definitely from a very empathetic and culturally sensitive place but the thing missing is having people of color in these books I want to pick up a book and read about a Latina counselor or a black counselor you know I just want to see so much more representation if you all have any books that you think I would enjoy definitely leave them in the comments section because Yes, I would really love to, to have some more representation in books for sure. I do have some books in my cart, I just have not pulled the trigger. So that is a goal of mine for this year. So I also have the DSM-5, of course. I do have more books, but these are the main ones that I use. I want to have those here and then I still have the other ones on my other shelf. So there we go, all finished. And I only wanted to keep the main books that I know I need to pull during the day when I'm here sitting at the desk working or anything like that. So it's just a nice couple. I have my plants, of course, some candles. So I think that'll still be a really nice background. So that is it for this video, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. That way I can just work on some client notes and see my client and just rest. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. I would love to have you join the Keep On Growing community. See you all in my next video. Bye.